Welcome back, everyone. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski. Looking forward to this EASHL showdown. Referee Shilovac ready to drop the puck on this one. A sight every hockey fan can appreciate. It's a clean sheet of ice and we are about to get underway. The Admirals start with possession as we are now underway. The Aliens get a hold of the puck in their own end. Chicago's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it to Wang. Here's an opportunity. Nothing. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. From my spot, it looks like it's going in, but he just whipped it wide. Scooped up along the wall by Ovechkin. Puck picked up by Couture. Grips it, rips it, and puts it off the crossbar. Had the goalie beat up high, but not the bar. And he makes the save. They win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Feeds it on over to Wava. Tries to get it to Justin. Quick pass to Wang. Takes control of the puck. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Keeps hold of the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Takes the pass. They've got numbers. Slides the puck near the front of the net. And makes the save. Taken by Ovechkin. Put it off the post! Well, that shot total would look a lot different if these pucks just didn't hit the post and go away. Game's still tied, though. Gets a hold of the puck behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Smith. Huge! And here comes the pushback. Big's got better things to do than fight this guy. Interference, the call coming up here. Sometimes less is more, James. He's trying to help his partner out, but he ends up getting whistled for interference. Man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, James, statistically, we know that you score the first goal of the game, you're going to win well over 55% of the time. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And there's the save. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Interference is the call. Intentions were good, though, I would think. Yeah, but you got to realize I'm in the wrong spot. I can't get in the way like he did. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Cross corner dump in. The aliens gain possession of the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Slides it back to the blue line. Stops him cold. Trying to get back on the attack now. Moves it quickly over to Ovechkin. The Admirals have it in the offensive end. And now he angles it across. Well, he's calling him out now. Justin's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. And manages to clear the zone. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Still tied here as the power play fails to come up with a goal. These are the power plays that drive. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Murphy's been nabbed for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Uh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. And that one's turned away. And there's a chop after the whistle. Was it ever? He got his money's worth there. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. 
And now he tries to get it across to Couture. Back at the point, they set it up. Goaltender gave him nothing as it goes off the side of the net. Wang stick handling in his own zone. Quebec's got a hold of it against the wall. Looks to set up along the point. Here's a chance right in the slot. And that's turned aside with a glove. Butcher's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Gets in front of it. He's working hard to find this puck. There's all kinds of traffic in front of him, and he gets to it before the puck gets to him. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play's got to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. Slides the puck across to Justin. Off the left wing and into center. Sends it in on the attack. Pushes it across to Ovechkin. Oh, and he oh. gets leveled. You can see this one coming. Some players love to score goals. He loves to deliver big hits. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Wang. Still to come in period number two. Lots of action on the ice. And up in the broadcast booth, business will pick up. The iconic Snoop Dogg will join us here. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Too many bodies in the way. Smith's got the puck. Dupuis lugging the puck. Here they come on the attack. And he gets the puck right back. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Up along the wing. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Waba's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Quick feed to Justin. Grabs control of it at the point. Delayed penalty coming up here. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Five minutes they're putting up on the board here. That's a long time to be shorthanded. The players really put his team in a bad spot. Chicago sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. The power play will want to be as aggressive as they can, James. You get the penalty killers back in their heels. You can score multiple times here as the power play will not end until the five minutes runs off the clock. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. The Admirals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Biggs has it in the defensive end. Gets it out of his own end. Rips it. That's blocked. Shot gives them nothing in front. And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. You gotta look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Quebec's down, but not out. They've had chances. They just haven't capitalized. I have been looking forward to this one for a while, but coming up, period number two, the one, the only, Snoop Dogg in the house. intermission we'll do the same and get ready for period number two
What a treat to be joined here in the broadcast booth. The one, the only hip hop icon, Snoop Dogg. How are you, sir? Hey, 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 baby. Let me put these headphones on so I can hear what I'm saying. He is ready to roll. Oh, crystal clear. Can you hear what I'm saying, baby? Loud and clear, sir. What a pleasure. Man, pleasure's all mine. If you were commissioner for a day, what would you do? I would make all hockey games start off with some hip hop music. I would have a great halftime performance. And the games would be more interactive as far as finding ways to put the people involved. Not put them on the ice, but just make it more about the people. Like when I watch other sports, I feel like the fans are more involved. So finding ways to create ways to make it all about everybody involved. The players, the fans, and the people watching at home. Like how? Just put some Snoop on it, you know? That's mm -hmm. what I do. I can get down with that. Yes, sir. Hammers it on oh, there! Boy, Makes the save! Moves it to Wang. Moves it around along the half wall. Jabs the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Smith. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. That goes wide. Quebec's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. The aliens have it against the wall. Murphy's taking it from his own end. There's the whistle icing the call. The Admirals have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Now a quick pass to Smith. You got three teams in California now. You got the Sharks, the Ducks, and the Kings. You're all about California love. Do you have love for all three, or is there only one? All of them, especially if they make it to the Stanley Cup, you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to call Snoop Dogg and come drink out of the cup. <laughs> <laughs> and would you? Why not? Not why. Have you? Yes, sir. Do you have drank out of the Stanley Cup? Yeah, when the Kings had it, they gave me a sip. Of course. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Into the corner now. Battling for it along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And here's the pass to Wang. Justin's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Puts it up front. Quebec's got the puck now. You're all about pushing boundaries, creating an image. When you were a kid, how old were you when your first album dropped? Man, I was like maybe 19 years old. Okay, so a lot of young players around the NHL can appreciate that sort of vibe. For those guys that are kind of building their own brand right now, what do you say to them? Say, man, stay true to what you do and master your craft, you understand me? And go study the greats. If there's somebody that you love that was great, go study him and see what he did to become great and try to be great. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but thanks for doing this. Do you want to hang out and watch the rest of the period with us? If you don't mind, I don't mind. I would love it. Well, let's do it, dear. Let's, I'm fanboying out let's here. Let's kick it. Let's go, Jay. All right. Officials seeing obstruction on this one. Interference to call. When they changed the standard a few years ago, James, I thought this was one of the best ones they did because it allows the game to flow along. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Here's a short pass to Butcher. Chicago's got the puck shorthanded. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And manages to clear the zone. Quebec's got the puck along the wall. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Quick pass to Couture, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Gets it out of his own end. Angles it over to Couture. Couture's carrying it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Ovechkin. Denied by the goaltender. Past the halfway mark of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. You have to look at that one as a blown opportunity as they still trail by a goal as the power play expires. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A oh, here's a it's chance. It's a breakaway one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, you got to 
hit to net. No kidding. Come on. And that's stopped by Dryden. The Admirals gain control of the puck against the wall and manages to clear the zone. Sends it in deep. Quebec's got it behind the net. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. Justin's getting two for boarding here. Sometimes a hit just looks wrong. That's one of the boarding is the call. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, what a great opportunity for them here. Trailing by a goal, you got a chance to even it up, and you've got the man advantage. Move to the middle! Can't get it to go! Move to the middle, and that one's blocked! Right out front! Grabs the puck as they try to escape the blaze. The Admirals have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Score! I see it! The shot! I love it! Love it is right! Man, give me a hug. Give me a hug. I'm not gonna say no to hugging it out with you. Give me a hug, man. Love is love. Love is love. Giving themselves some positive vibes to go into the dressing room into after this period as they have even things up here late. To go into the third period even would be a victory here for them. Nice pass. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Biggs. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And now it's grabbed by Butcher. Let's it fly. Makes the save. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. I saw the hold. Did you? Yeah, so did 18,000 other people. So it's no surprise the ref got it as well. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. I'm not so sure anybody's been really happy with the power play here. That's been just average tonight some good some really bad and they're looking for something a little more positive on this one here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone gets it out of his own end Dupuis moving the puck through his own zone quick feed to Couture from the top of the offensive zone here drives it to the front of the net Oh, some fans thought that was in, but that went off the side of the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Turn the boys, buddy. Let's it go. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. All right, now that brings us to our play of the period, dog father. Where you at? Hey, man, I'm going with that big collision from earlier, man. Give me that hit footage right there. Bring it back up. Tune in to find out just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. The Admirals power play won't have a lot of time to work with as this period gets underway. Look out. Hello. 
James, I honestly feel the boards rattle when those hits are on my side of the ice. Butcher's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Moves it to Richardson. Back to the point it goes. Great glove save! The tour is going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Forces the turnover and comes up with the puck. Quebec's got control of it now from their own end. Takes it across the blue line. Bank pass off the boards. Big time glove save. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Justin. Slides the puck over. Quebec's got a hold of it against the wall. Bumped off the puck. Puts it on net. And he's going after him here. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Justin's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Butchers won the draw. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. There's the goal ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guy back on her heels. You don't get many goals like this. Face-off win, direct shot, and into the net. The Admirals have gone ahead by one here in the third. Still lots of time left, though. Yeah, they've earned this lead, but there's a lot of road in front of them if they want to bring this home. Grabs it in his own end. Chicago's got control of it now here in the offensive end. There's a shot. Can't get it to go. Ovechkin's got it along the boards. Couture's got it against the boards. Takes the feed. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Carries it across the line. And that puck leaves the zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Quebec's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Dupuis got the puck in his own zone. Picked up in the open ice. Long reach breaks up the momentum. He got all of that hit. The aliens gain possession along the wall. It comes up empty. Puck grab by Butcher. Blocked in traffic. Just slide to the net. Here's a short pass to Wang. Off the post. Chicago's ability to get back in this game is going to rely partly on luck. They get a bad break there as the puck hits the post and stays out. Here they are on the attack. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Puck scooped up by Smith. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And that one's picked off. Wow. Their bench has a little more belief as they've evened up the score. You make so many decisions that happen so quickly. Every once in a while, you get one wrong. That's an example of a bad decision. Chicago's goal has set up a thrilling finish here in this third period. 
Really good work to get the game back to level. Now they have to continue to push, find the winner. From the neutral zone now. Ovechkin's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Quick pass to Smith. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Here's a chance. To his teammate. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Slides the puck over to Wang. Quebec's ready to go on the attack. With the blast. Oh, absolutely owns the crease tonight. Move. He scores! And this place is going bananas. They know what the moment's all about. Well, I guess we know who the first star is probably going to be. That's three for them tonight. Quebec's coaches are pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Butchers, one possession. Sends a pass over. With possession along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Biggs. And that's wide of the net. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the, the net by that line. puck. Here comes no. the pushback. Couture's not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Dishes it to Ovechkin. Chicago's grabbed a hold of the puck. From the left side, takes it at center. Moves it quickly over to Justin. Quebec's looking to break out of their own end. Biggs plays it into the offensive zone. Offside the... Needs a place. For oh, look at this. Three o'clock in the parking yeah. lot. Is it three o'clock already? Down they go. was in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. The aliens will want to build on that. On the road, you want to be as aggressive as you possibly can. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. And stirring the pot here after the whistle. Yeah, a little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Now he slides it up to Waba. Takes the feed. And now he moves it to Couture. Picks off the pass. Chicago's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Broken up at center. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Passes on over to Murphy. Quick feed to Justin. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets a stick into his feet. Down he goes. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Gets it out of his own end. Chicago's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And now he angles it across to Justin. Hammers it on net. Denies him on the play. Tonight, they had the puck a lot. They controlled it in the offensive zone. What I really like, though, James, and it, I think this mattered a lot as to the final score, is they didn't turn it over much at all. We hear the term puck possession an awful lot in today's game. They maximize their opportunities.
Andrei Shilovic ready to drop the puck on this. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all this EASHL action. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. Puck is dropped and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here, a little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Well, we get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Slides the puck to Couture. Pass to Ovechkin. Denied by the goaltender. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Finally, Ray. Yeah, they do get it down the ice. I thought they held their structure pretty good. They tried to clear the puck a couple times. Couldn't get it out. Now they're... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. The Marlies have been handed two for interference. About halfway through this play, you can see him. Ah, I'm in the wrong spot. He should have let him go. He didn't, and he gets called. And he's going to pay for it now. They'll get set to go to work with a five-on-three. Biggest problem a five-on-three power play has is that everybody realizes what a great advantage it is. So everybody stands there waiting to shoot the puck. Nothing happens when the puck moves slowly. Beautiful 360 with the puck. Quebec's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck lands back onto a stick. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And manages to clear the zone. Quick pass across to Couture. Ovechkin's got it across the line. A little too much height on that. Yeah, maybe take a little bit off and get it on the net. The goalie had to dock. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And manages to clear the zone. The Admirals get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. Handles the puck. Slides it over to Ovechkin. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Sends it over, and he makes the easy save. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And he loses control of the puck. Couture is going to play it against the half wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quebec's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Butcher. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Kings won it in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Fournier. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Admirals look to start the transition game. Slides it quickly to Ovechkin. Along the half wall with the puck. Too much traffic in the lane. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's the pass. Great read to break up the play. Ahead of... And that goes off the post and out. And the goaltender. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there.
He's going to need some help here. He came out on the short end of the stick on that in that fight. Uh, it doesn't look very good for him. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Stopped by the goaltender. One position. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Officials calling tripping here on this one. This was the penalty I think when I took. I was most angry at myself because you're not trying to do it. And then all of a sudden you see the guy go down and you're just like, oh man, here I go. There's the result. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Here's a short pass to King. And that goes off a player in front. Dupuis got it in the defensive end. Works it across to Ovechkin. And he slides it quickly to Butcher. Grabbed along the boards by Richardson. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. Oh, what a save in front! From point blank, denies him again! Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. We got a minor penalty coming up For here sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Face off with a five-on-three power play, but not much time to work with. The puck battles become more important when you don't have much time. You better win the puck, whether it's on the draw or in the corner, and get yourself set up. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Toronto's got the puck now. And makes the routine save. Biggs works the puck in his own zone. Taken along the wall by Ovechkin. King's got the puck now in his own end. Quick pass to King. Great poke check on the reach. Picked up along the wall by Richardson. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And a great job by the shorthanded unit. Those there he goes. Scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one. The goalie's not going to like this, mainly because that turnover right in front of him doesn't allow him to get set. He gets beat down low. The Marlies score the game's opening goal here late in the first. How big is that? Well, you can see just the energy on their bench. They want to go and push this into the intermission with the lead. Got possession here in the offensive zone. With the stop. Here's a chance behind the net. And it's a quick pass to Dubuis. Whoa. Scores! Well, the game back to level now. Anybody that's had a lead, the lead is gone. And now we're evened up again. Here in the dying moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Moves it quickly over to King. The Admirals take possession in the defensive end. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Toronto's gained possession. Move to the middle. Oh, what a save! Slides it over with pace to Butcher. Takes the puck at the point. Puck picked up by Butcher. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. With some momentum driving towards the net. Gets down to block it. Beautiful stop with the stick. Intercepts the pass at center. There are rock stars, and then there's next level to that. And our guest coming up in period number two defines it. Snoop Dogg coming up here on EA Sports.
two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. period action i'll tell you what when our producer told us that he was going to join us in the broadcast booth i didn't believe it but man he is here right now yes, the one right and only. Here. there he is ladies and gentlemen what Snoop Dogg. Up, hockey world what's up y'all how you doing man i'm good huh? you got three teams in california now you got the sharks the ducks and the kings you're all about california love do you have love for all three or is there only one all of them, especially if they make it to the Stanley Cup, you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to call Snoop Dogg to come drink out of the cup. <laughs> and would you? Why not? Not why? Have you? Yes, sir. You have drank out of the Stanley Cup? Yeah, when the Kings had it, they gave me a sip. Of course. Yep, yep. Wow! Oh, no. See, you got to get your whole body up on defense like yeah. that. Great job, You Tony. like that? I love it when they get their whole body up. Big time save on the play. Great plane. job. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Fournier. Receives the pass. Quebec's got possession at center. Moves the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Here's a chance to set up now. Comes up with the stop. You got into hockey at a young age, listening to Chick Hearn. Favorite team growing up? Favorite team growing up would have to be L.A. Kings. What about the Ducks-Kings rivalry? Is there something there now? I think it's a little rivalry there, considering that the Ducks did happen to win the, you know, Stanley Cup once upon a time. And, uh, you know, that, that rubs, you know, rubs the right way when you can win one of them things. Gets a glove on it to make the save! All right, if you're an in-game presenter, you're in charge of presenting a hockey game tonight for the crowd. How do you present it? How does Snoop roll it out? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some lights, camera, and a whole lot of action. We're gonna have some beautiful people in the house to bring on the introduction. And the game is gonna be fun filled. We're gonna do it outdoors. We're gonna make it outdoors. That's what we're gonna do. Take the party outside. Take it outside. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but thanks for doing this. Do you want to hang out and watch the rest of the period with us? If you don't mind, I don't mind. I would love it. Well, let's do it, dear. Let's, I'm fanboy out let's here. Let's kick it. Let's go, Jay. All right. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. Butchers won it off the faceoff. Dupuis stick handling in his own zone. Takes the bank feed. And now he passes up to Butcher. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed to King. From the place. A, a goal, scores. baby. That's a goal. That's a goal. A goal is right. The lights uh, out. Yeah. What a move. What a shot. And Snoop up here is impressed. All right, man. I'm totally impressed. This is some amazing hockey. Oh boy, he got chasing the puck there. He ended up behind the net. Before he could recover, it's in the goal. You know, when he goes back to the bench, he's going to be looking at the tablet, and they're going to be showing him that, and it's not going to look pretty. Toronto's up by one here in this second period. Kind of a surprise, though, Ray. Yeah, they haven't played very well at all, and while they have the lead, it's not been a game they're very comfortable with. Grabs the puck at center. Poulin's lugging the puck. Moves it to Fournier. Slides the puck across to King. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Past the midway mark of the frame. 
The Marlies have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Scoops up the puck now. Takes the pass. Over the line they come. Takes a wrist shot. Blocked in traffic. Taken by Ovechkin. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Kings taking it from his own end. Passes it to Fournier. Puts it towards the net. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies him with a save. Oh, here we go. You know the crowd will love to see this. Yeah, here. well, look at this, James. I mean, when the goalie's involved, everybody feels an extra layer of what the heck is going on. Toronto's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Toronto's got the puck. From off the wall and onto a stick. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Quick snap! Stopped by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. There's the whistle. And Buck still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. Gerby's ready to go. Apparently the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's a 2-1 game. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Carries it in. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. He's going off for tripping. And doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty. But this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw. Get the puck to the... Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Denies him with a save. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Ovechkin's going off for charging. Just can't hit like that anymore. Too long a run to finish the check. Butchers won the faceoff. Quebec's looking to break out. And he moves it up to Butcher. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Here's a short pass to Fournier. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, what a stop! Let's it rip! Another stop by the goaltender. Hey, usually the whistle is gonna stop the play. I guess not tonight. Dupuis looking around for somebody to fight. He's gonna have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. The Marlies have been the more active squad and they continue to lead late in the second period. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Oh yeah, oh, why do you use your stick to stop it, man? Good job. See, I like that, man. Use the stick to stop it, goalie. It works. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Fournier's got it on the offensive end. Here's a shot, just wide. Not gonna get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. Oh, oh good job, save. good job. Way to go, way to go. Big stop, just as time expires in the period. All right, still before you get cracking, What's our play of the period? I'm gonna have to go with that goal from earlier, man. That goal was sweet, man. Pull it up. Let me see. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? Quebec's first two periods have been marred by turnovers. Every time it looks like they're going to get something going, they burp up another one. They don't have the puck much, and they're behind in the game. Quebec's got the puck behind the net. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got a 2-1 game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And he comes up with it. Scooped up along the wall by Couture. And another stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Three the first one here. They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. What patience. He holds the puck, moves it to his forehand, and fires it past the goaltender. Toronto's off to a great start to this period as they extend the lead. Puck hit the ice, and they were aggressive right from the beginning. I like the way that they played the first bit of this third period. Now they have a little bit more of a comfortable cushion. And now it's grabbed by Ovechkin. Getting a little physical out there, but... And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. Dupree's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Sends the pass over. Shot right in front! The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Quebec's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Couture. Stones him in front. Biggs is going to take some attention from the therapist as it looks like he's banged up after this huge hit. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Toronto's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. With the steal. Nice pass. Quebec's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Couture's moving the puck through his own zone. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quebec's looking to break out of their own end. On the attack along the boards. The Marlies get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's an odd man rush. That's three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. You can see he's looking on both sides of the traffic, trying to find the puck. When he finally catches up to it, he waves at it. A big move, but doesn't catch it. Toronto's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Slides the puck over. Strong defensive effort. Poulin's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Saved made by the goalie. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Well, oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Looks to set up at the point now. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dubuis. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. Another chance here on the man advantage. The power play can be so frustrating. When you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well, you start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Toronto's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. pullin has got the puck in his own zone. The Admirals have it in the offensive zone. And that banks off a stick. Toronto's penalty killers get a hold of it. Gets it out of his own end. 
tries to feed it over to Butcher. Puts him in the goal. Scores! The power play delivers big time. Puck moves quickly. The players move quickly. That's a terrific goal taking advantage of the extra man. Narrow the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Ray. Yeah, James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Passes over to Fournier. Let's it go. And a great save. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck. It's a forest of bodies in front of him. Here they come on the attack. From the slot. And he bought the goaltender and in. That's a goal. Now that's got to make him feel sick. He ends up depositing the puck into his own net. The Marlies have really been strutting their offensive prowess. You've been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Toronto showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Kings won the draw. Takes control of the puck. Poulin's got it in the defensive end. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Moves it around along the half wall. Comes up with the stop. Toronto's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Slides it to Butcher. Feeds it over to Couture. Moves it quickly over to Butcher. The Marlies have it from their own end. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Heads deep inside the offensive zone with the stop. Takes the feed from his own end. And the puck departs the zone. There's the whistle icing the call. Toronto's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and laid it big time late in this third period. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Couture stick handling in his own zone. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. And he rings the post! Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Quebec's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Kings lugging the puck. He grabs the puck here at the point. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Oh, they stayed right on it. Once they scored that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Marlies have been whipping their opponents all night long, and it continues here in the third. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind their bench right now. Takes the feed. Quick feed to King. The Admirals gain possession in their own end. Moves it to Biggs. And now it's over to Dubuis. Great defensive effort there. Picks it off. They go back on the attack. He scores! There's the hat trick in here. as soon as that third goal went into the net. Toronto's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, a big time late in this third. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Let's see what the official says here. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the official saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. Right on the doorstep, and that's picked off. And we are all over with this one. 
Ray, more shots, more offense, and they converted. It dominated the game start to finish. You got a feel for the losing goaltender. He had to feel like he was at the end of a firing squad there. 